as you can see, I got the hat back for you guys. A lot of you guys were like, yo, Simon, where the hell's the hat? I missed the hat, man. Like, where is it? So I brought it back, ninjas, okay? I brought it back, and I'll make sure I'll wear it in as many videos as I possibly can. Because apparently, y'all like this freaking hat more than me. <laughs> So yeah, basically, I really do want to do YouTube full-time. I just want to speak to you guys about this because I guess a lot of my rants or speeches do inspire some of you guys. And, you know, I just want to speak to you guys about it. I speak to the SOS family. It's my channel. I made these type of videos because I can. So listen up. I ain't saying I'm going to start quitting my job now and just start doing YouTube full-time because I ain't making nearly enough money to do YouTube full-time. But that is a goal of mine. And when I say YouTube, I mean doing YouTube, like making videos, personal training, online coaching, merchandise, all that stuff surrounding YouTube is a goal of mine to achieve in the future. Something like Chris Jones, something like Christian Guzman. I really want to have that type of lifestyle or just achieve that. Right, I love doing YouTube and I just want to speak to you guys, especially those of you guys who are also trying to, you know, grow your channel. Now, before I get into all of it, uh, any negative comments, like real negative comments, uh, just shut up. No one cares, man. Like, I just don't understand why there's people on the internet who always has to come back to your video and just leave something negative. Like, nobody gives a shit. Everybody else who's reading your comments don't give a shit. I don't give a shit. And you won't give a shit neither. Like, just... Just leave, bruh. Just leave. I'm trying to keep this video really positive here. Try to inspire some people. So I was watching a video from my friend Kelly. I knew her since grade 3, 4. I'll link her video down below, actually. And she was basically... I'll actually link her video on the screen also. And she was basically speaking on how she quit her job because she didn't like it. Uh, and she was just looking for something better, a job that will make her more happy. Just spark this idea in my mind about, you know, just doing what you have to do, whether you like her or not, to get where you want to be. Right? I also have other friends who do YouTube channels. Like, when I say friends, I mean people who I know in real life, you know? People who are actually going to be in my baby shower on Saturday. But by the time you guys watch this video, the baby shower already happened. You know, I have real friends who do YouTube. So I'll link Kelly's video on the screen. I'll link Mr. Tyrone. One gaming family, he started his channel recently. Uh, I'll link his video on the screen. He's a very, very close friend of mine, knew him since middle school. I'll link Christine Fuey. Is it Fuey? Oh man, she's gonna kill me for messing up her name. Damn, I'm, I suck at Asian names. But yeah, uh, Christine, I'll link her video. But again, she does makeup, guys. She does makeup. So if you guys wanna get a hold ready, go watch her video. You know, you wanna, you wanna look cute and whatnot. And. Uh, Jesse, he has a comedy channel. He's not really too active on it so far, but I'll link his video too. And basically, the reason why I'm linking them is because they all do YouTube, and I'm 100% sure that if YouTube popped off for them, they would do it full time. So basically, out of all of us, I was pretty much the first one to start up, and as you guys can see, the progress on my channel has been growing. It's been going crazy so far. Almost 10,000 subscribers, and I really believe I'll hit 10,000 subscribers by the end of the year, and 1 million views by the end of the year. So a lot of you guys have been commenting and telling me that you see my channel blowing up real soon, and I can see it too. You guys are actually seeing it a lot faster than me. Like Some of you guys have higher expectations for my channel than me, and I'm kind of like, yeah, like you have... You have a lot of faith in me, bruh. But either way, basically, I see my channel growing and I see my channel becoming something big. I see it becoming something big on YouTube. And it is a goal of mine. And I'm sorry if I'm repeating myself, but basically what I want to get into to help some of you guys out there is doing what you have to do to get where you want to be. And basically what I'm doing right now, as you guys know, I'm having a kid. He's coming in about 20 days from now. This is going to be a big change in my life. And... Even though that's happening, a lot of people will say, oh, your dreams is, your dreams are over, you're done. You ain't gonna get any, you're not getting no more views, you ain't getting more subscribers, your, your channel's gonna die now because you have to focus on the baby and stuff. And in my head, I'm like, no. As I said in other videos, you define your future. If you decide you're going to fail, you're going to fail. If you decide you're going to become successful and you work your ass off to become successful, even the days where you may slack off sometimes, don't look at those days as a, 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 dream ruiner just like when you're just like dieting right no one's diet is perfect a lot of us slack off a lot of us have more than one cheat meal or one cheat meal too many but you don't you don't give up right so for me what i'm trying to do and i recommend for uh, what i recommend you guys to do is work a job what i'm, what I'm trying to do i'm trying to work a, a job of even if it's minimum wage, it's still gonna help me fund some of the things I wanna do on YouTube, such as get the camera, get a new laptop, get a, a mic, right, so my audio is better, 
where I work in the afternoon. And the reason why I work, I choose to work in the afternoon is because my mornings are the most productive time times in the day, right? So basically in the morning when I wake up, I can get my workout in. I can possibly train clients in the morning if I do get clients, train online clients if I get online clients. And I could continue making YouTube videos in the morning. And on the weekend, I get weekends off of the job that I have. So therefore I'm able to edit videos on the weekends since they take a lot of time. And I'm able to schedule them during the week so I'm able to make money, take care of my child, continue doing YouTube, right? and not feel too much pressure. It's still, it's still a lot of pressure, but the thing is, is as I said, you gotta be willing to put in the work and grind your ass off if you really wanna achieve something as big as living off YouTube. And as some of you guys are noticing now, I'm starting to incorporate more than just fitness onto my channel. As you guys have seen, you guys have seen a couple of my reaction videos, which some of you guys have actually been liking. It's been getting a good response from you guys. And at the same time, I'm still trying to keep the fitness aspect a big part of the channel because I know that's what a lot of you guys are subscribed to me for but again I know those of you guys who subscribe to me for fitness don't just watch fitness just like how I don't just want to do fitness right so for me I'm trying to take a leap of faith if you will and try to just experiment with certain things some things I won't be putting on this channel because like such as gaming I won't put too much gaming on this channel if at all because that's just something I really feel like another channel is needed I also want to start a vlog channel but since I'm not going to be vlogging so much, I don't mind putting it here because I know a lot of you guys like to w like wonder about what's happening in my life outside of fitness and outside of really YouTube, if you will, if that makes any sense. And I really encourage you guys to try, try, step out of your comfort zone and just be comfortable with being who you are and doing what you love because all I know is if I'm trying to do YouTube full time, I don't want to do YouTube full time and feel forced, at, feel forced to always make fitness videos because that's just not me. I have a lot of creativity flowing and I'm trying, to, I'm trying to cultivate it and share it with you guys. I love doing things like skits or acting. Even if it's not really super serious, I would love to do some skits on YouTube and have fun. I have a lot of creativity flowing. I just like to share it with you guys. And for me, I'm just like, right now, I don't want you guys to get upset if you're seeing some changes that you're not used to. You're like, holy crap, like, I was expecting fitness every single day and now it's like reaction videos, skits, you know, more helpful tips videos that have nothing to do with fitness. Like, you guys might get my point. So for me, I'm just really, put it this way, I feel confident in you guys that you guys support anything that I'm doing. As long as I'm doing it intelligently, I'm not spamming you guys with random videos. You're like, why the hell am I subscribed to this guy, right? So for me, it's just that I'm happy to have built a, a you know, built a fan base or subscriber base that supports different ideas I could bring to them. And I'm really gonna try to use that to my advantage because you guys are all about fitness. I speak to a lot of you guys. You guys want me to make uh, gaming videos, vlogs. You guys want me to make all types of videos. So for me, I'm gonna go along with that, see how it goes. And I just want to inspire you guys to try to do, do other things differently, right? Some of you small channels, since you guys just started, I recommend, you, I recommend that you stick with one thing, such as your fitness. But over time, as you get bigger, branch off and do more things, like come on. We ain't all about fitness. If you're all about fitness, then cool, but that's just not me, right? So, I just want to share it with you guys. I know it's a short video. It's pretty random, but hey, probably inspire some of you guys to do something different. So, I'm out, guys. Done. That's my hat. Yo, bro, like, why do you have on my hat right now? Yo, chill the fuck out, man. I'm replying to the SOS family. Dude, you don't...